All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that B-roll. So big thanks to One Tigers for sending all of this stuff over. They are amazing. Um, I'll put the timestamp up on the screen for the plate carriers if you're here just for that. But if you're in the market for a new mask, definitely check out their Tifarge Comfort Mask. This is probably the most comfortable airsoft mask on the market. They're not telling me to say this. I'm saying this because I think it. I think it because I think it's true. It's very comfortable. Instead of mesh, you have plastic, and these sides are super, super breathable and comfortable. So if you're in the market for a new mash, mesh, mesh. So if you're in the market for a new mask, make sure to check this one out, link below. Link to the chest rig and the plate carrier in the description box below to take you right to Amazon, and you can check it out for yourself. These items are really, really awesome. So if you're looking for one, make sure to check it out in the description box below. All right, so I zoomed out the camera and lowered it a bit. And now I'm going to be, I think I'll start the video off by going over the differences between the plate carrier and the chest rig, and then going over the features of each and what uh, I prefer in each of them and which one is my favorite. So let's get started. All right, so on your right, we have the plate carrier and on the left, we have the chest rig. Now the main and sort of obvious difference is the one on your right, the plate carrier, is designed to hold plates. So it's designed to be a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger, um, and in a real life situation, if you have ballistic plates inside, protect you from, from returning fire. If you get hit by a real round, it will hit the plate instead of you, which is a good thing, which I guess the plate carrier is still technically a part of you, but you get the idea. The chest rig is for light, fast, uh, long distance situations where you would need to have a few mags, a few things, maybe you'll have a backpack or something, but you don't need to be restricted by movement. Um, and this is sort of just, you have it because if you will need those extra magazines, you have them. So this is also going to be a lot cooler for the summer, per, uh, for the summer, let's just say, when it's super hot outside, this has a lot more breathability and is a lot uh, thinner and lighter, which could give really awesome benefits if you're playing in the summer over the plate carrier. Now you'll notice the front panels on both of these are different. Uh, the nice feature about these from One Tigress is the front panels are all swappable. So as you can see here, you have these buckles that you just unbuckle. You just rip a front panel off and then you can switch it out with another one. Um, so in that sense, you're not limited to what you can carry on the very front plate. Uh, where the bigger difference is what in what you can carry is going to be on the sides and the back. So if you guys want to carry anything else besides just what you can put on the front panel, uh, this chest rig doesn't have any other options. You can't mount a backpack to it. You can't mount uh, anything to the sides or put magazines in the side. Uh, all of that has to be separate. So, I mean, you could get a drop down pouch uh, maybe for right down here, but those can only carry so much. So you'd have to either get a separate backpack that you just sling over your shoulders, or you could use a belt system possibly, uh, but you can't really mount anything to this. So now on for the plate carrier, uh, this has elastic uh, magazine or radio pouches, or you could use them for really whatever. Uh, on the sides, there's four of them. You can only see three on mine because the last one is up here because I have it uh, cinched down a bit. But on this one, you can see you have a back panel with Velcro, so you could put any Velcro accessories. Um, you could probably find a Velcro backpack, or you could get a Velcro tamale panel uh, which you put on the back of here. It's it just it would be hook uh, And it would attach to this and it would have molly panel on the back And then you could mount a molly backpack if you need that and then on the front you have plates Which this does come with plates. They are a not hard foam, but a very firm foam plate They're not plastic. They're not the super flimsy stuff uh, It does come with plates. So if you're again playing airsoft or just training these are probably fine but if you would need ballistic plates, you could also get ballistic plates for this. The panel that I have on the front of this one has an admin pouch, as well as two uh, smaller mag pouches, which you could use for pistols, speed loaders, or yeah, or really anything else. 
uh, and it does have three mag pouches on the front. So this is supposed to be a low profile plate carrier, so that's why it doesn't have a molly system. Uh, you could use this one, this front panel, put it on the plate carrier, and it does have molly, and you could attach more mag pouches to the front of that, but for the purposes, I have it set up the way it is. Um, you have a zipper with a pouch, so you could put something down in there, it's a pretty big pouch, and you have Velcro on the front for whatever you need. They also have one more panel right here, as you can see. This one has three M4 magazine pouches on the top, as well as three uh, mag pouches for maybe pistol magazines or SMG magazines. Um, so you could use this one if you wanted. Uh, I personally don't have use for the three uh, mag pouches on the front, so that's why I run the two that I have on. So the benefits of these low profile systems is their low profile. So you can put them on over clothing uh, very comfortably. They're not super bulky, they don't have a ton going on, and they fit very close to your chest and sides. You don't have a big thick thing on the side that is really uncomfortable. You can move to the sides very easily and comfortably in this. So if you're maneuvering, you're not going to be getting something stuck uh, in your side or anything firm. Uh, very comfortable, unless you have magazines, of course, in the sides. Then it might be a little bit more firm, uh, but just normally fits really flat, really nicely. Same thing with the sides. It fits very close to you. It's very comfortable. Quite literally, this is a very, very, very comfortable plate carrier. So you can see that it's going over these clothes. These low profile systems can fit under clothes. So yeah, you guys can also conceal, conceal the plate carrier under a jacket. This is just a down jacket. Uh, as you can see, you can see the plate on the back if you operate in the cold, playing airsoft, and uh, when you're playing, it's warm because you're moving around, and then when you get back, and then it's cold and you want to put a jacket on, you can do that. Yeah, and the reason I'm showing you this with the plate carrier is because, is because it's obviously a lot bigger than the chest rig. Um, so if you can do it with the plate carrier, you can do it with the chest rig. So yeah, as you saw, it, I mean, it conceals. You can pull a jacket over it. Um, so it's not invisible, but you can put a jacket over it, like I said, like four times. The only complaint I have with both of these, when they first came in, magazines sat down like that. Uh, so you can see it's not up like this one is. It's all the way down here, which it's sort of hard to get out. So I just took out this little piece of foam from, I don't even know where I had it, but I got the foam and then just pop it in there. Just put it in there, put the magazine in, and boom, sits up nice, just like it should. Same thing with the chest rig. I have the foam in there uh, to rise the magazines up just a bit. So it's not that big of a deal if you have foam lying around. If you don't have foam, then it could be a bit of a problem. So if you guys want my personal preference, in the summer, I would definitely choose the chest rig. There's, I mean, there's just no beating the breathability and the maneuverability that you have with this. This one's very maneuverable, very comfortable, very breathable, but you still end up sweating with it. I mean, there's just not gonna be very many plate carriers out there that you wouldn't sweat with. With this, you'll still sweat, I guess, just normally, but it's a lot more breathable. And you don't sweat nearly as bad or get nearly as hot with this. If you're needing ballistic protection or you just want protection, definitely go with the plate carrier. If you're in the winter time, I guess it really doesn't matter. This will give you a little bit more warmth. The chest rig, I mean, again, you can put a jacket on under it, so it doesn't matter that much about warmth. Or if you need the extra mag pouches on the sides, definitely go with the plate carrier. So as you can see, it's sort of mixed. There's not a definite one or the other but that's how all gear is. All gear serves a purpose for a certain scenario, and in certain scenarios, there's nothing that can beat that. So in the middle of summer, in my opinion, this plate carrier cannot beat a chest rig.
unless of course you need ballistic protection. But if you are needing the extra magazine space or the ballistic protection, you cannot use the chest rig. Uh, there's no beating the plate carrier. Sorry, it's a bit vague, but you'll know what situation you need each of these for if you're in that situation. So I hope this video helped. I hope I went over the differences. I probably forgot something. If you have any questions, let me know in the description box below. So again, big thanks to One Tigress. As always, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to enjoy this B-roll. I'll see you next time.